All right, hello everybody. Even though we only have like one viewer here, um, we'll be doing some painting and some already live streaming here today. Not much to really do, honestly. It's just simply being myself. Let's get this render scene. Let me take care of some stuff real quick. I'm gonna have to, unless you guys want this one or this one there. Sharpie car has colored rims, okay. But we're gonna start off some rendering here, because rendering is OP and really more the fundamentals of Really just getting a good little showcase of your car besides having to do a screenshot in game unless you have a really good high quality computer because you will definitely need this. Let's show off. Just dragging this baby on here. I think we can get away with the rims there. Nope. Good looking scheme. If you're looking wondering what kind of schemes these are made, this is for the BR10 mod. And these are painted by Mr. Yamp. So, if you're wondering about him, he does help out with some Sony Cup Series action by Fuel Bandicoot. So, if you want to look him out, I, I guess do a little advertising there. As of right now, this is a Luke Martin paint scheme. There you see that that's the this is it looks like a Viagra scheme, so it's probably a throwback to one of his older seasons. So I think that might be the case there. Um, as this does take a bit depending on how fast your computer is. Um not that much. Well, let me type that. This is a good looking Viagra scheme, obviously. It's not as symmetrical as anticipated, but because I'm I'm a guy that's like likes having a scheme that's symmetrical in a way, I, base design wise. Obviously, you can't have it with the contigs and stuff, but you know, kind of makes me have some sort of perfectionist uh, persona with painting cars in GIMP because I hate schemes that are not that are insymmetrical. Like for example, the Brant car old guy had, all back with the stripe in the middle. That one I don't mind as much because you know, I'm used to that. But like example, the Kyle Petty Hot Wheels car. Well, I'm back. That one kind of is a wonky one, but you know, I, I'm used to it. But for me, it's a bit of a little pet peeve of mine. See, it looks like they're getting a lot of the particles done with here. And let me open up GIMP for y'all. I might try and open up a little race for y'all to watch. Um, but I think it might be a bit much. But. If you're wondering what program I use to render these, it's 3ds Max. So I'm using 2014 right now. Um, so it's rather fun to watch me, I guess, quote unquote, watch me do this. So for me, it takes some time. But when you render a scene, or based upon a car you make, and you look at it, unveil, 
just as the computer processes it, it processes this uh, the render scene. It, it's absolutely beautiful, and you save that. When I usually give people, usually people ask me to request a render, I usually just save them as a um, more or less a, a PNG because for me that doesn't really compress as badly. It looks like that blue is messed up on here. I might have to re-render that. Unless it's just the um, let me check. I'll compare this to my others, the other renders I have had. Open a new window. Pictures. It's gonna take a bit because of the stream. No, no, no. There we go. Okay. See, I've done a lot of renders for people, so that's quite a lot to have to be exact. So this is rather fun for me to do and have to do all this. But okay, let's see. Let's see Luke Martin's scheme that I had to render. Yeah, see that's black. So I might have to re-render this one because of the the shark fin being a bit off there. So that that might be a bit of an issue, a bit of a setback. But hey, it's not it's not much, you know. Yes, I do host offline leagues. I don't really do many of them. I don't know if I asked that question, but that's what a lot of the videos on my channel really highlight is more just offline league videos. I might make another channel for something else stupid, but um, that that's pretty much all I have to really say. It's a rather it's a Monday. Not much really happens on a Monday for me. That is so. Yeah, unless that thing doesn't process, I might re-render that. So. Fifty percent. Yeah, I'm gonna try and re-render this one. I might do a different one this time around. I'm gonna try a different one here. That one looks a lot cleaner. Let me compare. It. Yeah, it's just. Huh. I don't remember that one being. Oh, it's a morph scheme. That's what it is. Okay, that one's a weird one. I was just curious if I did the shark fin wrong. So I'm gonna actually re render this. I'm gonna re import everything just to make sure everything is just fine. Let's drag it along. A couple more. You get some near the rims. And here we go. See, it does take a bit. Like I said, depends on your computer speed itself. So, hello, David Hill. Nice to meet you. It looks like you have a. Is that an anime profile picture? Don't know what anime it is. I haven't watched anime as much as I used to. I might be wrong, actually, but. <laughs> but welcome to a stream of NR. It's probably going to be boring, so I don't expect many viewers. We have three people watching. But yeah, this is a little bit of a process of. Really, you just get to see how my computer works with 3D's Max. Um, some could probably render faster, actually, based upon their GPU or not really their GPU, but their more their processing unit. It's also the graphics card, and RAM is a bit important there. But yes, pretty much.
But yeah, okay, it looks like, again, yeah, they're doing the chunks right now. You'll see a little bit of process computing final gather points. So it's really they're just trying to make sure they got everything set up for the render scene itself to start. So I think it's actually just the shark fin itself is a bit messed up because I just re-imported that. So um, I'll have to wait and see where that comes in. So this might be a bit while, so I might give you guys something to do or look at some music. I'll open up GIMP for y'all too as well. So I'll open that up. You'll see it load up in a bit. As you see, they're starting the render scene right, the render process right now. So, GIMP will be loading up, and then you see there's how the percentage bar goes. You'll see some certain chunks getting into focus here, which is what 3ds Max is currently doing right now. They're rendering the scene. As you see, they're going to get rid of those pixels by the end of it. Once it gets 100%, they'll realign themselves just to make sure, just go through a little solid fluid um, analyzation there before it's actually done. In a way, it's like you're unraveling yourself like an art piece, to be exact. And you're just reevaluating, you're just looking at self-reflection just to make sure, really double check if everything is under control. As there you see GIMP 2.8 is loading up, I'm not gonna get an update at this rate. I don't really wanna get an update for GIMP because I'm lazy and I don't wanna do that. Might paint some cards later here once I get all these renders done for them and then maybe we can set sail for them so you might be able to see what I'm doing with GIMP like certain techniques and all so yeah ooh Chris Dodd what are you doing my boy I'll keep that personal though. I'm not gonna... I'll keep that in mind but there you see GIMP's loading up here we got 30% in already so that shows sometimes how fast the computer my computer is if it's in a good mood I just restarted it so <laughs> that would probably help a lot actually so oh no not the swood as GIMP's loaded up I will minimize that for now as you guys will look at it I don't know what music I should play for y'all actually that's what I should have asked or might because I don't want to get freaking copyright strikes because those are terrible unless I just go to uncopyrighted rock but knowing I need to get really one of those audio jacks because my thing is messed up my computer jack actually is messed up so for like earphones and all I'm probably in about 30 minutes I will um probably or 45 minutes or so I will be leaving the stream so I'll be back for rendering it I'll be back yet again so don't worry um, for those watching even though it's only a mere four to one person um, so don't worry I'll be I'll be back in time like at most I'll probably eat dinner and all but for you guys to watch I will definitely have another stream live stream up probably will delete this one not much really to say unless you guys want me to keep it then that's fine but right now we're just simply I think this is gonna be more of a rendering session here today Maybe the next one we will have more of a painting session. So um, I think this will be applying to only rendering only. But just really just sit back. You want to listen to some music, even though you can't, because YouTube standards is weird. And unless you have YouTube Red, but implying anybody wants to pay YouTube Red whatsoever, but like a measly ten bucks, which I don't want to do either. Nobody wants to do that, and I agree with that. Cause why not do it? Why not get? Why get that when you can just find a way to get it for free? Cause I hate money. Money is is a simply weird process. So so it's about almost done for our first render here. It looks like yeah. I think the the, the shark fins messed up actually in that car. So I'm not quite sure really what can be done with that. So we're gonna wait and see. Unless it's just that that. Yeah, it's just the render thing that looked weird itself. I got a bit dis um, deceived by that. It, they got me. There's a magic trick. They got me all along. Like, yeah, it's, it's it's a really slow Monday for me. I woke up actually rather late today. One of those days, it's just a Monday. I really need to stop waking up so late. Well, then, yeah, I just went back from a Catholic retreat, and that was fun. And, well... I, that was it was eventful to be exact. I couldn't really sleep. I pulled an all-nighter 
on Saturday, and that's probably why I slept so long today. So, <laughs> as you see, the render is done. I will be putting this in my requested renders folder somewhere. Enter to three render cars, request render. It's gonna save that as a PNG. Luke Martin, number six, Viagra. I'll just put V2 for 2017. So I'll just put that there. There you go. And their tablets. Well, that does. Oh, Viagra does help with your vaginal pain or something like that. I don't know. And here we go. In the second scheme we're gonna render today. Just make sure we got all that. Boom. What a bam. Shit -a. And we're just gonna make sure we got all the key points here. Looks like nothing really changed, but it is a throwback scheme for Luke Martin here. This is probably from the NR2003 in-game. Something you do for NR2003 in-game card set. So, yes, I know you also drive the SCS Sam at OzCon. Congratulations on that. Kind of wish you had better success here. Um, we'll have to wait and see where the silly season kicks off for you, actually, because I think you could have a good future again ahead for your return, unless you end up like Michael Schumacher and do absolutely nothing and then get a head entry later on. But, um, we are doing some more rendering here. I've actually done a lot of the renders for the SES Sony Cup series with this scene itself. I know other, like, Ky I think Kyle Collins does another render scene. He has probably more render scenes than I do, but I have the generic one that has more, I guess you can say, a professional appeal, I guess, or a typical one for all of y'all to look at. So, this is like a throwback scheme. Looks like a Mark Martin throwback, obviously, so I think a lot of you will like that if you're a Mark Martin fan. So, that might be fun for y'all to watch there, but um, pretty much another little render scene. I'm going to open up some something up here, um, see if I can maybe start on it while I'm painting. Probably not, but we'll wait and, we'll wait and see. Let's see. I'm gonna open up a little template here. Let's see. I have a lot of templates actually. A lot of logos, a lot of other things. It depends on the logo. You could ask me for one if you are a painter yourself. You need a PSD. I probably won't. I obviously won't have all of them to your dismay, but let's see. I have to. I do need to paint some cars for some people. I haven't. I've been pretty lazy about that. Um, where's the M5? I think I have to do some silly with the BMW. I might do that one later. Z4, that might be it. That's probably just the original cup template, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's what it was, so, um, that's silly. And, let's see, let's see. M5. I can't do that, that that's silly. H L M M. Mass graphics. I have a lot of mass. Oh, I have a lot of old mass graphics logos. So you guys need those, um, because their site is killed right now. There might be something called BMW M5 or something like that. Somewhere I have to find it. There's a Z4. I had that template somewhere. I'll look for that one later, but I'm not going to give up actually because I'm really quite stubborn with that. 28.8% done. I had that base from a while back. Mr. Bishi Lancer template. I wonder what that is. It's probably nothing. Nissan. Nissan. Might be a, under BER or something really dumb. 
Camaro, Camaro, Silverado, Toyota, and then the Chevy. Audi Quattro. But yeah, that's a Z4 template. It's a really wow wonky one. So that's that's one of the weirder templates that I've seen around. <laughs> dodge, dodge, dominator, Dupont, Duralast, five star. GTP templates I apparently have. So that's funny. SLK, CLS, <laughs> HR. Oh my gosh. I never realized how dumb some of these templates are sometimes. Like, they're really bad. Rush truck centers. Rush truck, rush truck, rush truck. Oh, look at those little oldies. This says Tundra, Tag Hoyer. Look at all of this. Okay, apparently it's not in here. So I, I think it's it's either that or it's just nowhere to be found. These are all my numbers. I have a lot of them in here. Pontiac, then you are Chevrolet, B, uh, BR. I might have to get that redownload that template again because I might have gotten rid of it for no reason. Unless it's just something else, then that <laughs> I don't know from there. Is that it's rather peculiar that um oh there we go this is the armor armorly digital that's why that's probably why because it's an armor digital I'm dumb let me check to see if the headlights aren't more messed up okay they update them or they're not too small so that that's good that's reassuring all right so let's check to see if it's done we still have 79.9 percent .9 of it done there Great result there. Ups, awesome, absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. This one looks a bit more messy, but that's just the render itself. Because if you see here, a bit of the front end is a bit weird. Um, right around here, it just looks like it's a bit curved than it should be. It's like it's kind of sudden. It just stops. But that's just me. Like, I just see that, and I'm just... That's a little bit of a nitpick, but not much there. It's a rather it's a nice, simplistic scheme. I feel like it ended just here for no reason, but that's probably the point. But I feel like you could have just, like, at most, you could have at least made it continue to flow. Just to keep it safe and sound. But it's a good scheme, nonetheless. I think it's one of the better ones he's made. Yeah, it's made, but actually, that's yeah, a good one. I like that one. Probably one of the few I like on there. As it is done, we are about done with this one. And you see a lot of... Luke Martin, number six. That's another Viagra. Ford, 2003. I'll just put 2003 so I can differentiate that. And that's another one down. And the Pfizer logo is actually a pill tablet in that version. And that one, that's another one down. So. We're getting, we're racking up these renders down one by one. We have six of them. Six for Luke Martin. And I have no idea what this one is. It's just blank. Is this like a Budweiser throwback or is this just, uh, just being lazy? Because that might be just me. I don't remember that Sharpie carving rims. Let's, probably that version. Let's undo that. This is not going to be a Bill Elliott throwback, actually, to the Motocraft scheme from, like, 2010. That's what I bet it is. Because if you remember that car, it was literally just red. And then nothing else. That might be the reason. Hey, I'll still make you a car. I've just been rather busy like I know I'm gonna have to do that but
Yeah, I still make you one, trust me. I've just been busy and lazy, so it's a mixture of both. But I'm actually trying to get myself back on track here. This is more... Yeah, it is Luke Martin's car. You didn't know that, huh? So apparently in the SCS news that Aaron Taylor is not going to be in the 60 anymore, that Eric or Matt Rodriguez will be in the 60. So that's going to be rather interesting to see where that 60 team will go for the rest of the season. I expect good things from that team for that 60 car now because Aaron Taylor is no longer in there as anymore. So this could be fun to watch for them. Might not. Probably might be stupid actually, but I think it's a good move. So I think they should go for it. So. And you notice actually the splitter is white in this one. So that's uh, one way to get yourself good. Oh, thank you very much, Mando Cat. I made that when I was like in high school. <laughs> like, I think it's just when I had nothing to do. Or... You know, I don't know about that one, Hoffman. Actually, I don't really have the news to Martin's stuff because, you know, that's more of a personal thing. I, d I think both of you have good futures because Richardson's just as good as you. But I see Richardson... I, I don't know, really. You have to wait and see where that comes in. Because I believe... I think someone else might do it, though. Someone in their... in their program. But I know James is... Are you talking about James, like Jack, uh, Jeff James or James Richardson? That's the one I'm wondering. But I, because th Jeff James is already off somewhere else doing it in a different team. Because that's Jeff James. I mean, you don't need to test me or anything. I'm not really, I don't really care. I mean, I just know my ride is still good and it's the SES, so. <laughs> and that I own a team and the ancientness and all that. Soon to be also SCS too, because I'll be having both of the programs in the. I know my HNS team will be solid enough, like not maybe a winning team, but I mean that's really just as long as my team is there. Yeah, I know Jeff James will be Jeff James will be in a Mace affiliated team, like a satellite team. So Richardson, like I said, I don't know about Richardson too much. I think you have a good shot, Caleb, but like realistically for next year, I will have to wait and see. Don't worry, he's just, we just, people fool around, you know, and all that. Mm. Yeah, pretty much it's just a little bit of a slow render here. This is the M5, I think I have to do some stuff to, I know I gotta do other things. This is a weird template actually, I don't really like the, making a really foreign manufacturer on the uh, Gen 6 car, because it just looks really awkward. It should. That's to be honest there. Nope, nope, that's not it. Inspection dots. So it's the roof hatch, I don't like that there. Hey, don't get don't get too offended, Mando. Come on. He's just fooling around, I know him. I don't know Caleb as close, they're not like a close, close friend of him, but I mean, <laughs> color, and I don't need the outline, so I'm going to save that as a seat. Uh, pictures, I'm going to save this for now. Um, 2017 CBM, that's for the DWSR. So, so you guys might see me later on in a, another stream, maybe later today, or maybe even tomorrow morning or afternoon, I don't know if you guys have school or not so far. Um... I might be able to, you might be able to see me paint some CBM cars here, or maybe some more schemes from people requesting them, or I don't know. You have to wait and see what that turns out, but right now we are just going to be simple. It's going to be, like I said, more of a rendering session here. You'll be seeing these cars get rendered one by one. You'll get to see them depixelated, so. He's a froth taking you in for a sus.
But right now, this is, yeah, really, I, I'm indifferent about this scheme. This is a mix, but if it's just a simplistic scheme, you don't always need a, a car that's really sophisticated or, like, all zigzaggy with design or, like, you know, that sticks out. Sometimes you just need something that's really simple. I think it's what a lot of, really, when you're a new painter, I suggest that's what you go for. You go for simple schemes, but if you think you can go for something more complex or something like that, and go for it. Like, all right, have a good one, Mando Cat. Thank you for watching my stream. If you want to give it a like, you can. I'm not going to advertise as a YouTuber because I'm just doing this for fun because that's me. And I love drawing and designing and painting cars for art. That's probably something I like doing. But we're about wrapped up with this third one, this third car right here that I've just about rendered here. This is a, this is another Sharpie car. So this, I don't know if this is a throwback or which I hopefully it might be because... So let's see. Luke Martin number six Sharpie Ford V two twenty seventeen. Alright, got that baby saved up. So now we got halfway done here. We still got a couple more schemes left to look at and this one has the rims so I gotta remember to change the color of the rims here there you see I can put it in there BAM you got that I have to be careful about spoiler here the spoiler of this yeah, the spoiler in the car and make sure it has nothing let me make sure this one doesn't have a colored spoiler it does not this one does not either I don't believe no it does not same thing over here so we're good there let's make sure I'm in the right one and that is it. Here we go. Let's render this throwback. I like this one, actually. This is one that gives me a good vibe. The Bill Elliott scheme. This is a throwback to Bill Elliott's car back then. I think a lot of you are n or know that, but it's obviously with Sharpie sponsorship. Uh, Scores Light is not in the six car this time around, but this is probably one of my favorite schemes from the throwback area. So this will be fun to watch here. And let's see if I can get started on some CBMs. But I actually like wanting to see this one get raffled up by a beast so As you see here, it's, they're getting rid of the chunks here. They're trying to really wash themselves up. But that'll be interesting here. So, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Mental race, so you're not a big fan of those. I can understand that. I I, I guess yeah, I can understand that. Honestly, let's caffeinated pixels. That's that's this this dude right here. I'm not gonna make fun of you because you're a cool dude. Uh, that's what I'm gonna. Hopefully, you're a cool guy. I don't know. If you're not, then I don't know how to feel. <laughs> but obviously, this guy is a really cool knock from what I assume. I think you I, I think I might have seen you do a speed paint at some point. I don't know if you still paint these days, but for me I like mental ray because it's just my preference. I mean as long as the render itself is good quality, then I'm fine with that. Or if it's just a render itself. As long as it's not too small in terms of dimensions. Like Really, like it, as long as it's in like maybe a quadruple digit or maybe even the max at a triple digit that's really high, then I'm fine with that. I don't really have a problem with those kind of render scenes because that I'm cool with it.
But I'm just curious. But what what do you think is makes a uh, scanline or scanline better? To be honest, like I I have nothing against your opinion because that's I understand some people aren't too big of a fans of it or yeah. I am injured. Let's type that baby down because I don't. <laughs> so YouTube's just silly with that. Don't worry, I type fast, I guess. JVN and you JPEG. That's a good one. Oh, I like that. I think I gave a like of that on the digital design page, actually. So, yeah, I can understand that it's it's faster, but that's a good-looking scheme. I like that. I love your coloring with that. Um, I never really see many with that. I have not heard of HKS. I'm really I feel stupid if I don't know that, but never really heard that sponsored that much, actually. But I do like how you put the white there to keep the consistency up. There, at least you had a side skirt there. And you lined it up with the front end. Obviously, you can't really line it up with the side there, but it still looks rather beautiful for a car. There's the non-symmetrical parts that I have OCDs on, but that's not a big deal. That's still a good-looking scheme. I like that vibe. It took like five hours. I get you props there. You must have had to use like three million layers for that because you had to put black on the outlines maybe for some or mess around with that. You know, and then maybe delete some parts. You might have had to add layers of black, like I said. You didn't really have, I mean, you have outlines, but they're, it's, it's like a really, it's a scheme that's all over the place in a good way. Because I like the way you actually made it mesh up to the roof. Because most of the time, I see a lot of them not really go much for the roof there as much, but that's what makes, I like that scheme because it's really unique. So, I like the color scheme behind it, and their associates are really, stick out too, actually. You know, that's really a minor thing. I like the way you line them up. I'm always lazy with those, honestly. So, it's usually... <laughs> Usually for me, I just get like a B pillar set. So yeah, that's and I noticed you put like a little logo down near the front end there. So not like the hood logo, but you get what I'm saying. We're usually the team names on there, so I like that. That's a good vibe to it. So um, it's really this is a good looking scheme of the Chevrolet. I'm assuming maybe you might have made that seven yourself that number because you did fine with that. Another one you did. I just need to practice my typing honestly. It's just for me, it just helps me out. Let's see. This one's almost done. So about fifteen minutes or so I'll be having to take my sister out somewhere. Not a date or anything, but <laughs> no homo. I have to take her out to some other place because she needs to go somewhere. Um so this stream will end in about fifteen minutes or so. Um for throwback, I have an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. That's what mine is. You have an AMD. AMDs are actually pretty good. You gotta get the right areas for that, honestly. So this one's about wrapped up. I think we have a couple more left. Yeah, we got two more. So this is an Army throwback. I think this one is just more of a throwback. I don't know what happened to the. What happened here? I have no idea. Is that is that just me or is that just the US Army logo? It's just not there. It's not there. There's no Valvoline logo in this, so um I'll have to tell him that his army one's messed up. Um I'll I'll be, okay, so let's look at this one. Max Oh, I do like what you is that the Beats font? That's what it looks like. This font looks like something I'd see from the Beats font from the Beats logo. That's a good one. It's also another simple one. I do like the way you put the stripes there. Taco Bell, obviously you need purple, a lot of purple, you need really just the colors of black, white, and purple at most. Maybe if you wanted pink there just to be a bit more fancy, but nope, that's fine. This is a good one too. I did like you used actually a colored spoiler for this one as well, um, but I like it. So, Ar Arctic Coolers, that's a cute one. Uh, that's a cute sponsor, I don't know why. That's a fun one. Mm, the USS... Us... SEM. 
Is this for like an offline league or is this uh, online league? That's what I'm curious about. I, I mean, I don't really care either way, but um, these look good. You're doing good, these dude. Keep it up. I haven't really painted that much in a while. I haven't really painted much on an Xfinity scheme actually, so I need to do that some point in time this year. Because everybody else has done at least one or two of them, and I haven't really done many, so. That's a good one. Um, the numbers, it looks like the Ryan Sieg font. That's just me being silly. Because the nine kind of for me kind of gives that vibe. Oh, I might. I don't know if I could. At some point, I'm not gonna. I don't like using it as a offensive because that feel like that'd be insulting to you, unless, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know how some people don't like that, and then it's like, oh, just don't do that. You have to ask permission. I said it disconnected, so I don't know what happened there. good now I think it looks like it's fine now so um I think OBS has had a little moment there I'll have to tell Mr. Ballard that or Mr. Yamp that he's gonna have to fix this because the Valvoline logo is gone there so we're gonna skip that one for now we'll go for the combination that scheme how fun this one well yeah this one's a hit or miss I don't really have interest it's a good it's a good concept but I just don't like it it's just for me it's just not my favorite one this is I understand the point of it the purpose of the scheme it's there just to combine everything but it just looks like a heaping mess to me half the time I still like to thank everybody for at least having the time, or even if it lasts like a couple of minutes or so of watching this, seeing if you don't like it. If you do, I mean, if you want to give it a like, I, I really don't care, honestly. Just as long as you guys are enjoying yourselves, you like having a little discussion with me, that's fine too. But this is certainly one of my few relaxing sessions that I've really liked in streaming so far. But I will be telling Mr. Yam here that he needs to fix the Valvoline car. So, I will be doing that. I will put the screen on a Zootopia wallpaper real quick as I talk to Mr. Mr. Uh, Yamp about it. But it's I'm I'm a bit quiet here. Um, just PM that to him. We will be going back to our regularly scheduled program. Uh, funny original original meme 2017. But it looks like we got things wrapped up here for our rendering session. After this one, I'll probably be done unless he sends me a TGA again of the car, of the um the Valvoline the uh, U.S. Army car. So. We'll have to wait and see where that comes out for him. But it's gonna be a, it'll be this is an interesting one. Like I said, I'm not big I'm not too big of a fan of this one, honestly. And you probably wonder like, what is this disaster? It's Monk Martin. Again, I mentioned like I mentioned him again. He's one of the quote unquote greatest SNES drivers, and that's not being insulted either, it's just he is the greatest driver in there. That isn't Nick Mace. And that he'll be retiring after this year in this offline series. So, looks like what Mr. Yamp did was go for the combination. Like, you've probably seen this with, like, maybe some NR Direct people painting, like, example, a Tony Stewart scheme. You would have, like, Office Depot, or Office Depot, Mobile One, um, Bass Pro Shops. Like, you combine those schemes for some odd reason. Home Depot. 
I, I don't even know either, Cheesehead. Um, I re I really don't know to be honest. It's just it's just a weird scheme. This isn't really my personal favorite, but I'll deal with this and just render this. Um, I guess some people say this is an abomination, but a combination scheme is a combination scheme. We'll have to deal with that. I I I assume obviously U.S. Army. You got throwback right here. Viagra logos on the side. There's one on the front. Um, looks like an M M's thing got cut up up here for some odd reason. <laughs> looks like an M M. I can't I can't pronounce that honestly. That's probably something I can never pronounce. Is an M and M. Yeah, that I still can't do it. So don't ask me how to. What's your if you ever ask me what's your favorite candy, I'm gonna say like M M M, and then I won't even do it right. I won't even say it right. The M M M's, man. <laughs> I actually usually laugh at your stuff, Louise. I don't know why. Every time, or every time you say something like that, like <laughs> I just I don't know why. I just freaking laugh at that. It's just <laughs> it's so dumb. It's, I don't know, it's something my, my system has, like, instinctively, I just laugh at whatever you say sometimes, it's like, when you, when you, bor when you burn Cory, I don't say when you're born Cory, it's just, <laughs> it's too funny half the time for me, like, I'll laugh at a simple joke as that, and it's just so dumb. So yeah, I have to tell Mr. Yamp that his thing is the thing is messed up. So let's see. Uh, I gotta get on my FB. And it looks like I'll having I'll be doing some more renders here in a few as well. So looks like. Our mock season dude, if you're wondering about him, Mark Jeff five three one something like that. Um, he will be. He just sent me some TGA, so stay woke for those, I guess. Um, I will be taking care of those in a bit. <laughs> Just freaking that comment. What is that? I don't know what that disaster is. So, so I'm gonna get those render scenes here in a bit. I will be taking care of that in a moment. So right now, I'm gonna. You, you won't be able to see the render now until the end result. As of right now, we're just going to be taking it nice and easy here. I would give you some vaporwave music for meme purposes, but I don't really want to do that at the moment. But I'm just curious to all those, if, if, did anybody watch Indianapolis this year? If you did, I mean, did you guys like it at all? That's the question here. So this could be quite interesting to... It was quite an interesting race, to be honest, so we'll have to wait and see where that ends up. Um, Indy was probably considered one of the more worst races of the season, at least in history in NASCAR, in my opinion. But that apparently craziness happened within basically within that second half. I got four of them to render.
next here. Did not get the MJX. What the heck is an MJX? Anderson, that's John Hunter. Okay, got them. But it's back. Okay, so we just wrapped up this one. Number six. I'll just say final ride or something like that. <laughs> really dumb. Um, I'll just say mesh up. Fraud. <laughs> Ford. But I think that's going to be it. I'm going to wrap this up here today. This, um, I'll probably have another live stream shortly. Or give or take another few hours here. Probably like two or three hours. Um, so I won't be as busy. But I think that's going to wrap it up for today's stream here for most of it. This has just been simply more of a rendering session. So thank you all for watching, even though there's probably not many viewers right now. But thank you all for watching, and thanks for some of the likes here today. As Have a good day, everybody.